what we want yeah where we want to start we got a couple of interesting things on the on the topic topic let's, list let's start here. off let, let's start off hot because it's been a second the only fans thing what's going on with that or actually was it only fans or was it like something else it was a model so it wasn't only it wasn't only fans so so I, I saw this tweet so I was just on Twitter scrolling through my timeline I think Bradley you probably saw the same tweet yeah um and basically this influencer and you can speak to the specific technical details here, but this influencer trained a voice chat bot on thousands of hours of her own videos. So she took her own videos that she posts on YouTube, probably Instagram, wherever, what, whatever content she records, she's taken that content, trained a model uh, to essentially replicate her voice. And then she's essentially charging a dollar per minute to access uh, for people to, to, to talk to, to this chat bot. Uh, and in the first week, she did seventy two thousand dollars in sales. And I'm I think that's, that's crazy. One a dollar a minute though. How? Like who's paying that? Like who? Who's the like who is the target? Oh, we don't want to know that. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we don't want to be honest. We don't, don't want to know that. You should transparent. What What are the demographics? Let me that's let me let me share some of these about. stats real quick. So it says Homegirl is a twenty three year old influencer. She has 1.8 million followers on Snapchat. And since launching it, she's had over a thousand people use it from not only 10 minutes a day to several hours a day, um, just being in conversations with it. That's, that's wild to me. And I feel mm -hmm. like if you think about it, I think we, 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 we spoke about something similar uh, on one of our, one of our previous podcasts, but um, I know just, something related to this topic has been like uh replica if you are familiar with that ai chat bot and yep. some of the um issues that you know folks have ran into there with it you know being over sexual and and, and, and things of that nature and so is this is, is this a fad is this is this just another one of those oh this is cool to see or do you think this is here to say or and we'll and we'll start to become more popular this is a breakthrough this is a sexual breakthrough. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sexual breakthrough for those men out there, women too, for anybody out there that wants instant gratification. This is this is this is monumental. I, okay. I honestly, it really it really is. And I, it takes somebody earlier who we were talking about this with instantly drove my mind to it. But they they mentioned this is similar to like how it used to be back in the day, right? Where you can call like a like it used to be people that would do infomercials about like sex lines essentially and you would have to call in to like that line and you would pay like you know maybe a cent a minute or whatever the case may be to talk to somebody it's literally that similar concept but this time it's just fully automated right so it's not it's new but it's not really new it's just in a different form factor uh so i think it i think so when you ask like is it a fad i would say no because this desire from humans has been here for a while Considering the fact of what we did, the example that we just mentioned, it's been there for a while. So now it's coming back. And, and quite frankly, it's never really gone away. Probably just like those types of infomercials have kind of gone away. So the way in which we see it is different. But the type of content that people want is still the same. If not, like they want it more and on more, demand yeah. like, and, like, and more personalized now. It's probably not a fad. It's probably not a fad. I, I, what I would have to guess is it's probably more profitable right now if you're probably one of the it's probably more profitable because i think you know i mean it's kind of reminds me of like you know yeah so i do agree breakthrough breakthrough people are it's, it's market validation you know um but when that happens then it, there's going to be a lot more competition i can't imagine maybe her but i can't imagine a lot of people being able to sell a dollar a minute i mean that's i mean I, you're talking about 60, 60, like $60 per hour. Wait, like, you think men will be like, wait, that's too much content? I don't think that will ever happen. I don't think men will ever be like, that's too much though? content. But but Rodney, listen to this. So um, she's doing this through, I guess, a company, a company. The company that helped her set it up is called Forever Voices. They're predicting that she's going to do $5 million potentially in, in revenue. <laughs> In a month. Yeah, they need month. to release the chat history. That's what they need to do. Release their chat history. It's encrypted. <laughs> oh, that'd be awful. Yeah, definitely don't release that. That'd be awful. Yo, that's, uh, that's uh, nah, I don't like that comment. I don't like you that. You know, I have a friend I w that I will, I'm not going to, I'm not going to name names, of course, but I have a friend <laughs> who back in college, 
used to go on date with guys and she would just go on dates and just have conversation with them. They didn't want they, they didn't want anything sexually. They were just older men in their 40s, 50s and they just wanted to talk. They had kids issues, ex-wife issues, just shit that current they wanted wife to issues, them. current wife yeah. issues. That as well. That as well. All type all types of issues. And they just wanted to talk and vent. And so these guys, like, will they pay a minute, a dollar a minute? Absolutely. Because these guys are already paying in other ways, like taking these girls out to dinner, buying these girls, flying these girls places. Like, they're already paying. Ew, they pay that's, real though. That's, for real though. that's real, though. That's a real body in front of you. You pay $200 for the dinner date, cool. It's, but she's right there. Bro, at least, at least. Mind, I'm not saying, mind. huh? It's, with the mind, with, as long, whatever the mind perceives to be real is what matters. <laughs> <laughs> But hold up, hold up. Let me ask this question. So let's say this technology, like, well, this, 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 this ability to bring the different technologies together in this way becomes ubiquitous to where now you got, let's just say every shorty doing something similar, right? So mm-hmm. we're not going to sit here and act like, I mean, we just going to keep it a stack as, as married men, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Please feel free to deny this on the podcast, but <laughs> You probably see, still see beautiful women, and in your head, you probably like, oh, that's still a beautiful woman. So, y'all probably seen some celebrities or whoever that person is. Like, damn, that's that. They interesting, obviously, because mm-hmm. you got morals and principles. You're not gonna take it there. But is it considered cheating? Wow. Now that <laughs> now that now now that the AI bot <laughs> exists. And you can Actually. you can you can now get a little bit of FaceTime with that shorty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the I feel like a woman will actually be a little bit more open to that. <laughs> and that's all you need. <laughs> that's actually, all you want is a little chat bot. I'm sure I'm sure your wife won't mind that. <laughs> no, but you see, that's how it starts. And but see, human de- human desire is endless, bro. It starts like that. It starts with oh, I just want a little bit of that. And then, and then it's going to get to what you're talking about, Roddy. It was like, you know, I want something more real now. now I'm tired of like, <laughs> I'm tired of Okay, right, 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 right. <laughs> you know okay. what I'm saying? So, I understand. Um, I understand, yeah. I, I, I don't, but what I will say, Brian, I don't know. Like, who knows how it would be used. I will say, though, look, some couples, depending upon how they get down, might, you know, both decide to take advantage of this. And so, you know, this could become a tool for relationships in many ways. Who knows? But, look, there's, a, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity there. Sorry, Mm. sorry. New question, though. So let me ask you this then. Um, 15 years from now, 15, 20 years from now, let's say you have a son. He's he's 15. He's 14. Right. And he says, Dad, look, my girl, her, she saw her voice on X, Y, and Z dot com. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like, don't make me I don't I don't know what to say. Like, like, what do you say to him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like how much like, is she earning? I'm like, how much is she earning? I'm a capitalist. I'm sorry, bro. I'm a capitalist. <laughs> like, there is a line, there is a line, there is a certain line I'm willing to not cross, but I'm a, I'm a capitalist. So I'm like, you know, that's not bad. Get over how, it. how much is she get over it. Because at the end of the bro, at the end of the day, people sell on pictures, you know, like your picture and your 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 image is out there on the internet. You have no idea what people are doing with that. At least in this case, you can monetize you can monetize the content that you own. People can be monetizing your content right now and you have no way of knowing. And that's a big problem. And that happens mm-hmm. today all the time. Like people take your content, remix it, and making tons of money off of it, and you have no idea. So hey, if she in a legitimately way a legitimate way is able to monetize whatever content she creates, whether it be voice, art, or whatever it may be, hey, I'm not mad at that. I'm proud of that. Yeah, you yeah. tell you tell your son, hey, to swallow, let's swallow his pride, swallow his swallow. His, he can, hey, he has too much I'm ego. like, get the check, quit me, suck it up. Suck it up. Like, yeah, suck it up. I got too much ego. I hear, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. And hear and, you. and low key, it is a lot of ego <laughs> because at the end of the day, it's not a real. bot. It's a bot. It's a bot. Mm-hmm. It's not real. 